Life is unpredictable. Every day we face challenges, uncertainties, and moments that test our strength. But what if I told you that there's a way to find calm in the chaos, to turn adversity into an opportunity for growth, and to live a life of deep purpose and tranquility? This isn't just wishful thinking, it's the essence of Stoicism, a philosophy that has guided some of the greatest minds in history. Today, we'll explore how Stoic principles can transform your life, help you control what you can, let go of what you can't, and ultimately, become the best version of yourself. Whether you're navigating personal struggles, seeking clarity, or just wanting to live more mindfully, Stoicism offers timeless wisdom that's more relevant than ever. Stay with me, and let's dive into the powerful teachings of Stoicism and discover how this ancient philosophy can lead to a happier, more resilient life. And if you appreciate what we're doing here, the simple free favor I'll ask from you is to hit the subscribe button. Don't skip any part of the video. There's valuable insight in every second. Number one, being mindful. In life, you can't control everything that happens to you, but you can control how you see it. This is one of the core teachings of Stoicism, a philosophy that encourages us to focus on our own reactions and attitudes rather than external events. Seneca once said, God grant you the serenity to accept the things you cannot change, courage to change the things you can, and wisdom to know the difference. These words remind us to find peace in life's uncertainties, to be brave in facing challenges we can influence, and to have the wisdom to discern between what we can control and what we cannot. Your mind plays a significant role in deciding if something is good or bad. Once you understand this, you become more powerful, you react less and feel much calmer. Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. In Stoicism, being mindful is essential. It means knowing what you can and can't control in your life. Imagine how much energy we waste by getting upset about things we can't change. It's like trying to stop the rain with our bare hands. For instance, you can't control the weather, but you can choose how to dress or plan activities accordingly. You can't control what others think of you, but you can control how you respond. You can't change the past, but you can learn from it. You can't predict or control everything that will happen in the future, but you can prepare and adapt. Focusing on what you can control and letting go of the rest is a key aspect of Stoic practice. This practice isn't just about reducing stress. It's about enhancing your overall well-being. When you stop worrying about things beyond your control, you free up mental space and energy to focus on what truly matters. It's like clearing clutter from a room. You suddenly have more space to move, think and breathe. This shift in focus can help you feel happier and more at peace. It allows you to approach life's challenges with a calm and balanced mindset. Think about the last time you got frustrated over something minor, maybe a traffic jam or a rude comment from a stranger. How did that affect your day? Now consider how different your day might have been if you had simply accepted that some things are beyond your control and shifted your focus to something positive. Stoicism teaches us that we have the power to choose our reactions. By being mindful and present, we can transform our experiences and find tranquility even in difficult situations. Being mindful also means being aware of your thoughts and emotions without letting them dictate your actions. It's about observing them with a sense of detachment, understanding that they are temporary and do not define you. This awareness helps you make better decisions and respond to situations more thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. When you practice mindfulness regularly, you develop a deeper sense of inner peace and resilience. You become better equipped to handle life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. 
Stoicism teaches us that our thoughts shape our reality. If we constantly focus on negative thoughts, we will likely respond negatively to situations by default. The more we practice negative thinking, the more our perspective of the world becomes skewed. On the other hand, if we cultivate a habit of positive thinking and gratitude, we can change our outlook on life. Being mindful helps us recognize and shift these patterns of thought, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Number 2. Gratitude Stoics believe that wanting more and constantly seeking material possessions can lead to dissatisfaction and an unhappy life. True happiness lies in gratitude, a core principle of Stoicism that teaches us to appreciate what we have rather than longing for what we don't. In our modern world, it's easy to get caught up in the race for more, more money, more success, more possessions, but Stoicism reminds us that these external things are fleeting and often beyond our control. What truly matters is our internal state and how we perceive what we have. Gratitude is about recognizing and valuing the good in our lives, no matter how small it may seem. It's about shifting our focus from what we lack to what we already possess. This practice can bring a profound sense of contentment and joy. When you take a moment to reflect on your life, you might realize just how much you have to be thankful for. Your relationships, your health, your experiences, and even the small daily comforts, these are the true treasures that enrich our lives. You must learn to value and be grateful for all that you have, including your relationships, possessions, and the luxuries of modern living. We live in an amazing time in history with easy access to necessities and technology that our ancestors couldn't have imagined. Consider how fortunate we are to have things like clean water, electricity, and access to information at our fingertips. These are conveniences that we often take for granted, but they significantly enhance our quality of life. Taking a moment each day to acknowledge these blessings can shift your perspective and enhance your sense of well-being. Gratitude also extends to the people in our lives. The Stoics believed in the importance of nurturing relationships and valuing the connections we have with others. Reflect on the people who support and care for you, your family, friends, colleagues. Expressing gratitude for these relationships not only strengthens your bonds, but also fosters a sense of community and belonging. It reminds you that you are not alone and that you are surrounded by love and support. In Stoicism, actions speak louder than words. Practicing your values is more powerful than just preaching them. The philosophy emphasizes personal responsibility, understanding that every decision you make carries a moral aspect. Epictetus said, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. This means living in a way that reflects your values and principles, including the practice of gratitude. When you embody gratitude, you naturally begin to see the world through a more positive lens, which influences your actions and interactions with others. Gratitude is not about denying the challenges and hardships in life. Instead, it's about recognizing that despite these difficulties, there is always something to be thankful for. This mindset can be incredibly empowering, especially during tough times. It helps you build resilience and maintain a sense of hope and positivity. Even in the face of adversity, gratitude can act as a beacon of light, guiding you towards a more balanced and fulfilling life. Moreover, gratitude has been shown to have numerous benefits for mental and physical health. Studies have found that people who regularly practice gratitude experience lower levels of stress, better sleep, and improved overall well-being. This isn't just a feel-good practice. It's a powerful tool for enhancing your health and happiness. By making gratitude a daily habit, you can create a more positive and enriching life for yourself. Practicing gratitude also encourages a sense of humility and perspective. 
It reminds us that we are part of something larger than ourselves and that we have received support and kindness from others along our journey. This recognition can inspire us to give back and contribute to the well-being of others, creating a cycle of positivity and goodwill. Number 3. Power of Choice This is one of the most empowering principles of Stoicism. No matter where you come from or what circumstances you face, you have the ability to choose your responses and actions. Whether you're in difficult situations like being depressed, poor, or experiencing great success as an entrepreneur, you can still make choices that shape your life. Life doesn't have to be complicated. You have the power to make it easier or harder based on your choices. Stoics believe that making the right choices is like finding a shortcut in life. You can choose things like happiness, love, freedom, respect, and feeling wealthy. These aren't just abstract concepts. They are real, tangible states of being that you can cultivate through your decisions and attitudes. The important lesson is that you are in control of what happens in your life and how you feel. Having this freedom of choice is what truly sets you free in the long run. It prevents you from getting stuck dwelling on things beyond your control. When you take charge of your decisions, you'll always feel empowered and free no matter what challenges life throws at you. Remember, it's your choices that can make a real difference and give you a sense of control over your life. This doesn't mean that you can control every outcome or that life will always go as planned. It means that you have the power to choose how you respond to whatever comes your way. This perspective can be incredibly liberating and can help you navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease and confidence. According to Stoicism, our choices are the foundation of our character. Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This highlights the Stoic belief that our reactions are within our control, even when external events are not. By focusing on our reactions, we can maintain our inner peace and integrity, regardless of external circumstances. This is a powerful reminder that we are not victims of our circumstances, but active participants in our lives. Moreover, the power of choice extends to how we perceive the world around us. By choosing to cultivate positive and constructive thoughts, we can influence our emotions and overall well-being. This doesn't mean ignoring reality or pretending everything is perfect, but rather choosing to focus on what we can do and how we can grow from our experiences. The power of choice also encompasses our ability to choose our values and principles. In Stoicism, living a virtuous life is paramount. Virtue, in this context, means living in accordance with reason and nature, and making choices that reflect our highest ideals. This might involve choosing honesty over deceit, courage over fear, and compassion over indifference. These choices define who we are and how we interact with the world. By consistently making virtuous choices, we build a strong character and a meaningful life. Furthermore, the power of choice means taking responsibility for our actions. It's about acknowledging that our decisions have consequences and that we are accountable for them. This sense of responsibility can be both challenging and empowering. It challenges us to be mindful and intentional in our actions, but it also empowers us to create the life we want. By embracing this responsibility, we can become more proactive and engaged in shaping our destiny. Choosing how we spend our time is another crucial aspect of the power of choice. Time is one of our most valuable resources, and how we choose to use it reflects our priorities and values. Seneca wrote extensively about the importance of valuing time. He believed that wasting time on trivial pursuits or negative emotions is one of the greatest mistakes we can make. Instead, we should choose to spend our time on activities that bring us joy, fulfillment, and growth. 
The power of choice allows us to find meaning and purpose in our lives. By making choices that align with our deepest values and aspirations, we can create a life that feels authentic and purposeful. This doesn't mean that life will always be easy or without challenges, but it does mean that we can find a sense of direction and purpose even in difficult times. By choosing to live according to our principles, we can create a life that is not only fulfilling for ourselves, but also beneficial to others. Number 4. Anger According to Stoicism, getting angry doesn't bring any positive results. Instead, it only wastes your energy and resources without providing any real benefit. Stoics advise practicing non-reactivity instead of letting yourself get upset over things you can't control anyway. Anger is like a wildfire. It spreads quickly, consumes everything in its path, and leaves destruction in its wake. When you let anger take over, it clouds your judgment, making it hard to see things clearly and make rational decisions. Epictetus said, Any person capable of angering you becomes your master. This emphasizes how losing control of your emotions can give others power over you, which is contrary to the stoic goal of self-mastery and inner peace. Anger can be contagious, and if you allow it to take over, it can spread to others and even come back to affect you. Think about the last time someone's anger impacted your mood. Maybe it was a driver cutting you off on the road, a colleague snapping at you, or a stranger being rude. How did their anger affect you? It likely triggered a negative response, maybe even ruined your day. This shows how easily anger can spread and create a chain reaction of negativity. By not allowing anger to control your actions and emotions, you break this chain and contribute to a more peaceful environment. The Stoics teach us that projecting anger onto others will only lead to projecting it onto yourself as well. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, causing more harm than good. The wise choice is to avoid anger and focus on maintaining inner peace and tranquility. One effective way to manage anger is to pause and reflect before reacting. When something triggers your anger, take a deep breath and give yourself a moment to think. Ask yourself, is this worth my energy? Is getting angry going to change the situation? More often than not, you'll find that the answer is no. This brief pause can help you regain control and choose a more constructive response. Marcus Aurelius wrote in his meditations, how much more harmful are the consequences of anger than the circumstances that aroused them in us? This reminds us that the aftermath of anger is often worse than the initial cause, emphasizing the importance of controlling our reactions. Another stoic technique to manage anger is to shift your perspective. Try to see the situation from the other person's point of view. Maybe the person who snapped at you is having a bad day, dealing with stress, or facing difficulties you know nothing about. This doesn't excuse their behavior, but it helps you understand that their actions are more about them than you. This shift in perspective can reduce your emotional reaction and foster empathy instead of anger. Seneca suggested, where there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. By choosing kindness over anger, you can transform negative encounters into opportunities for positive change. Anger often arises from unmet expectations and the desire for control. We get angry when things don't go our way, when people don't act as we think they should, or when we feel disrespected. Stoicism teaches us to let go of these expectations and accept things as they are. We can't control other people's actions or the outcomes of every situation, but we can control how we respond. By lowering our expectations and focusing on our own behavior, we can reduce the triggers for anger and increase our sense of calm and acceptance. Another powerful stoic practice is to anticipate potential sources of anger and prepare yourself mentally. This is known as premeditatio malorum, 
or the premeditation of evils. By envisioning possible challenges and how you might respond, you can reduce their impact when they occur. For example, if you know you're going into a stressful meeting, take a moment beforehand to imagine scenarios that might upset you and how you could handle them calmly. This mental rehearsal can strengthen your resolve and help you maintain composure in the face of provocation. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of physical and mental practices to keep anger in check. Regular exercise, meditation and mindfulness can all help to reduce stress and improve emotional regulation. When your body and mind are balanced, you're less likely to be thrown off course by anger. Epictetus advised, Keep your attention focused entirely on what is truly your own concern and be clear that what belongs to others is their business and none of yours. This focus on personal responsibility and self-care is essential in managing emotions and maintaining inner peace. Developing a habit of gratitude can counteract anger. When you focus on what you're thankful for, it's harder to stay angry. Gratitude shifts your attention from what's wrong to what's right in your life. It's a powerful antidote to negative emotions and can help you maintain a more balanced and positive outlook. Remembering the good things, even in difficult times, can provide a buffer against anger and frustration. Number 5. Protect your mind. You protect your belongings like your wallet, car keys or home because they are valuable to you. Similarly, you should also protect your mind, which is one of your most valuable assets. The Stoics understood that the mind is the seat of our thoughts, emotions and decisions. And thus, it is crucial to guard it diligently. Be cautious about who you allow to influence your thoughts and emotions. In today's world, we are constantly bombarded with information from social media, news outlets and the people around us. This influx of information can shape our thoughts, sometimes without us even realizing it. Just as you wouldn't give strangers access to your possessions, don't let just anyone have unrestricted access to your mind. Marcus Aurelius often wrote about the importance of protecting the mind. He believed that our inner thoughts shape our reality and that by controlling our mind, we control our life. Surround yourself with positive and supportive people who uplift and inspire you. Avoid those who bring negativity or drain your energy. This doesn't mean you should ignore or avoid all negativity, but rather be mindful of how much influence you allow it to have over you. Be mindful of the negative influences around you that might affect you without your awareness. For instance, the constant stream of negative news can make you feel anxious and overwhelmed. Social media can sometimes create feelings of inadequacy or envy, Recognize these sources and limit your exposure to them. Instead, fill your mind with content that enriches you, like books, podcasts, and conversations that inspire growth and positivity. Seneca emphasized the importance of reading and learning from good authors. He believed that we should live with the greats by absorbing wisdom from those who have lived virtuously and wisely. Your mind is shaped by what you think on a regular basis. If you tend to focus on negative thoughts, you will likely respond negatively to situations by default. The more you practice negative thinking, the more your perspective of the world becomes negative. This creates a vicious cycle where negative thoughts lead to negative outcomes, which in turn reinforce negative thinking. On the other hand, if you don't actively practice positive thinking, you may end up defaulting to negative thoughts as well. The best choice is to deliberately practice seeing the good in everything and being grateful. Gratitude is a powerful tool for transforming your mindset. By focusing on what you are thankful for, you shift your attention from lack and negativity to abundance and positivity. Another key aspect of protecting your mind is being aware of your internal dialogue. 
the Stoics believed in the power of self-reflection and self-examination. Regularly check in with yourself and ask, what am I thinking about? Are these thoughts serving me? Are they helping me become the person I want to be? This practice helps you stay conscious of your mental habits and make necessary adjustments. Epictetus advised, first say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do. This means setting clear intentions for your thoughts and actions and aligning them with your values and goals. In addition to monitoring your thoughts, it's important to manage your emotional responses. Emotions are natural, but how we handle them is within our control. When you experience strong emotions like anger, sadness or fear, take a moment to pause and reflect before reacting. Ask yourself why you feel this way and whether your reaction is helpful or necessary. This practice of emotional regulation is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. By managing your emotions, you prevent them from taking over your mind and leading you into irrational or harmful behaviors. Developing a habit of meditation can also be beneficial in protecting your mind. Meditation allows you to observe your thoughts without judgment and create a sense of inner calm. It helps you become more aware of your mental patterns and gives you the tools to redirect your focus when necessary. The Stoics practiced a form of meditation where they would reflect on their day, examining their actions and thoughts, and contemplating how they could improve. This practice can help you maintain a clear and focused mind. Setting boundaries is crucial for protecting your mind. Learn to say no to things that do not serve your well-being or align with your values. This includes not only external requests from others, but also your own habits and behaviors that may be detrimental. By setting boundaries, you create a mental space that is conducive to peace and productivity. This helps you stay focused on what truly matters and avoid distractions that can lead to mental clutter. Remember that protecting your mind is an ongoing process. It requires constant vigilance and commitment. The world will always present challenges and distractions, but by adopting stoic principles, you can build a resilient and fortified mind. You have the power to choose what influences you allow into your life and how you respond to them. By prioritizing your mental well-being and practicing mindfulness, you can create a more balanced and fulfilling life. Number six, practice positive thinking. Your mind is shaped by what you think on a regular basis. If you tend to focus on negative thoughts, you will likely respond negatively to situations by default. The more you practice negative thinking, the more your perspective of the world becomes negative. This creates a cycle where negativity feeds on itself, making it harder to see the good in life. On the other hand, if you actively practice positive thinking, you can transform your outlook and, by extension, your entire life. The Stoics understood this well, emphasizing the importance of maintaining a healthy mindset. Marcus Aurelius wrote, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This statement highlights how crucial it is to cultivate positive thinking. Practicing positive thinking doesn't mean ignoring reality or pretending that everything is perfect. Instead, it's about shifting your focus to what's good and what's possible. Rather than dwelling on what's wrong or what's lacking, it's a deliberate choice to see the glass as half full rather than half empty. This shift in perspective can have profound effects on your mood, your relationships and your overall sense of well-being. By training yourself to look for the silver lining in every situation, you develop resilience and a more optimistic outlook on life. One practical way to practice positive thinking is through gratitude. When you regularly take time to reflect on what you're thankful for, you naturally start to focus on the positive aspects of your life. This simple practice can shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance. Each day, try writing down three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big or significant, 
Even small things like a beautiful sunrise, a kind word from a friend, or a delicious meal can make a difference. By doing this consistently, you'll train your mind to seek out and appreciate the good things in your life. Another effective technique is to reframe negative thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, pause and consider how you can view the situation differently. For example, if you're feeling overwhelmed by a challenging project at work, instead of thinking, I'll never get this done, try reframing it to, this is an opportunity to develop my skills and prove my capabilities. This doesn't change the reality of the challenge, but shifts your perspective to a more constructive and empowering one. Seneca advised, a gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. By seeing challenges as opportunities for growth, you can transform your mindset and approach life with greater confidence and positivity. It's also important to surround yourself with positive influences, the people you spend time with, the media you consume, and the environments you frequent all impact your thoughts and attitudes. Seek out relationships and communities that uplift and inspire you. Engage with content that educates and motivates you. Create a physical space that feels peaceful and energizing. By curating your surroundings to support positive thinking, you'll find it easier to maintain an optimistic mindset. Epictetus emphasized the importance of being mindful of our influences, stating, we become what we repeatedly do. Mindfulness and meditation are also powerful tools for fostering positive thinking. These practices help you become more aware of your thoughts and more intentional about where you direct your focus. Through mindfulness, you learn to observe your thoughts without judgment and gently steer them towards positivity. Meditation, particularly loving-kindness meditation, can cultivate feelings of compassion and gratitude further reinforcing a positive outlook. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on his thoughts and actions at the end of each day, a practice that allowed him to stay grounded and maintain a positive mindset despite the challenges he faced as a Roman emperor. Another aspect of positive thinking is setting realistic and achievable goals. When you set goals that align with your values and passions, you give yourself something positive to work towards. Achieving these goals, even small ones, can boost your confidence and reinforce a positive self-image. Celebrate your successes, no matter how minor they may seem, and use them as motivation to keep moving forward. This sense of progress and accomplishment is a key component of maintaining a positive mindset. Positive thinking also involves being kind to yourself. Self-compassion is crucial for mental well-being. When you make mistakes or face setbacks, treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer a friend. Recognize that no one is perfect and that everyone faces challenges. By being gentle with yourself, you create a supportive internal environment that fosters growth and positivity. This aligns with the stoic practice of accepting our human limitations and focusing on our efforts rather than the outcomes. Practicing positive affirmations can reinforce a positive mindset. Affirmations are statements that you repeat to yourself to instill confidence and positivity. They can be particularly helpful when you're feeling doubtful or anxious. For example, saying, I am capable and strong or I choose to focus on the good, can help shift your mindset and build resilience. The Stoics believed in the power of words and thoughts to shape our reality. By regularly affirming positive beliefs, you can gradually change your thought patterns and improve your mental state. Remember that positive thinking is a practice, not a destination. It requires consistent effort and mindfulness. There will be days when negative thoughts creep in, and that's okay. What matters is how you respond. Each time you choose to focus on the positive, you strengthen your ability to do so in the future. Over time, this practice becomes a habit, 
and positive thinking becomes your default mode. Number 7. Character over labels. Stoics emphasize that what truly matters is your character, not labels. In a world that often focuses on superficial attributes like wealth, status and appearance, the Stoic philosophy offers a refreshing perspective. Character is about who you are at your core, your values, principles and how you treat others. It's the essence of what makes you a good person. External factors like skin color, appearance or social status should not define you. Instead, your character should be your most significant attribute. This perspective aligns with the Stoic belief in the importance of living a virtuous life, guided by reason and integrity. Character is something you build through your actions and choices. It takes into account the work you put into bettering yourself every day and becoming a better person. This continuous effort to improve oneself is a key aspect of Stoic practice. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This powerful statement emphasizes action over words. It's not enough to talk about virtues. You must embody them in your daily life. Your character is what truly represents you as a person and leaves a lasting impression on others. Your legacy is built on your character and the values you uphold. When people remember you, they won't think about how much money you made or how attractive you were. They will remember how you treated them, the kindness you showed and the principles you stood by. This is why building a strong character is so important. It's what you want to be remembered for and what truly defines your identity. Stoicism teaches us that our actions should reflect our values. Epictetus said, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. This means living in a way that is consistent with your beliefs and values, making your character visible through your actions. How you deal with problems shows what kind of person you are. Stoicism teaches that true character is built when things are hard, not when everything is easy. It's during challenging times that your true nature is revealed. Do you remain calm and composed, or do you let stress and adversity bring out the worst in you? By maintaining your principles and staying true to your values, even when faced with difficulties, you strengthen your character. Seneca wrote about the importance of facing adversity with courage and integrity. He believed that hardships are opportunities to demonstrate and build character. Another aspect of character is honesty. Being truthful in your words and actions is a fundamental Stoic principle. This includes being honest with yourself, recognizing your flaws and areas for improvement. Self-deception can undermine your character leading you to make poor decisions and stray from your values. By practicing honesty, you create a foundation of trust and integrity. This not only enhances your relationships with others, but also strengthens your sense of self. The Stoics valued truthfulness as a cornerstone of a virtuous life. Humility is also a crucial component of character. Recognizing that you don't have all the answers and being open to learning from others is a sign of strength, not weakness. The Stoics believed in the importance of continuous self-improvement and learning. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on his own limitations and the value of learning from those around him. By staying humble and open-minded, you show respect for others and a willingness to grow. This humility enhances your character and makes you more relatable and admirable. Compassion and empathy are essential aspects of a strong character. Treating others with kindness and understanding, even when it's difficult, reflects your true nature. The Stoics taught that we are all connected and that our actions impact those around us. Showing empathy and compassion builds strong, positive relationships and creates a supportive community. It also helps you understand different perspectives and fosters a sense of unity and cooperation. By practicing compassion, you contribute to a more harmonious and just world. 
Courage is another vital trait that defines your character. The ability to face fears and challenges head-on with bravery and determination is a hallmark of a strong character. Stoicism teaches that courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to act in spite of it. Whether it's standing up for what's right, making difficult decisions, or persevering through tough times, courage strengthens your character and inspires others. The Stoics admired those who displayed courage and saw it as an essential quality for living a virtuous life. Resilience is a key component of character. Life is full of setbacks and failures, but it's how you respond to them that defines you. The Stoics believed in the power of resilience, the ability to bounce back from adversity and continue striving towards your goals. This resilience is built through facing challenges, learning from them and growing stronger. By developing resilience, you build a character that can withstand the ups and downs of life with grace and determination. In the end, it's not our titles, possessions or appearances that define us. It's our character. Remember, every choice you make shapes the person you are becoming. Strive to live with virtue, integrity and purpose and let your character shine brighter than any label. Thank you for being a part of Stoic Journal. If you found value in this video, I encourage you to check out one of the suggested videos on the screen. Keep growing, stay resilient and continue your journey of self-improvement. See you next time.